Welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey, and the God of War, Ares, is your April Crew Pack reward. All right, and you should be getting that today. I have it right now. I have all the rewards. I've been subscribed to the crew membership ever since this thing started, so... I'm getting all the bonus stuff that we're getting this month as well. The Cataclysm Legacy uh, style for uh, the cat outfit. Same thing for the Roboy back bling. The Cat's Carver um, pickaxe. You're going to get the Auric Legacy version of Lana Lane. The Auric Legacy of the Llamaphonic Blaster back bling. And the Glonicorn Llama Axes. Now for the next reward, you get the Phase Legacy style for the Silas Hesk outfit, the Serpentine um, back bling, and the Fangs of Hesk uh, pickaxes. And then you're going to get the Rhyme Bound Legacy Skull Scout uh, outfit. The Rhyme Bound Legacy style for the Experts Bone Bag back bling and same thing for the reckoners reckoning uh pickaxe and then the stuff that we get this month is the aries outfit uh the god of war the ever brawling god of war part of the warrior god set of course it has a lego style uh the warrior's cape back bling and the Immortal War Doru pickaxe. That all looks awesome. We also get the Cosmic Legacy style for the Dracon Steel hybrid, hybrid outfit. Same thing with the Dracon Scale Duo back bling and Dracon Claws pickaxe. So that's a lot of rewards this month. And then whatever your billing date, that is when you're going to get your 1,000 V-Bucks. Uh, mine is like on the second i think so that's when i get it but if you are a crew member you're gonna get this month's crew membership uh you know when you're when you're listening to this you should already have it and uh you know if you're like me if you've been subscribed for a, a long amount of time you're gonna have a lot of bonus rewards and then you know if you've been subscribed to for a few months you're gonna get whatever bonus rewards you have for that amount of time all right so there you go there's everything uh, there's no other news today, so, uh, we could just take a look at what people are playing. Battle Royale has 281,000 people playing. Floor is Lava, 38,000. Um, let's see here. Zero Build has 342,000. Rocket Racing, 6,000. We're looking at, uh, Lego with 78,000 festival has 18,000 and you know what and before i keep moving on i should really say i remember again because today actually is easter so uh i know i already said it in yesterday's podcast as most of you were actually listening to it probably on easter but i'm recording this on easter so i want to say it again happy easter everybody i hope you had a good time i had a great time with my family i am so stuffed from our uh easter dinner right now uh, you know, like it's taking everything in my body not to already fall asleep because I had so much carbs <laughs> at dinner. It was almost like we really, I kept saying Thanksgiving dinner because we really were like, we had like a feast like we would normally have at like Thanksgiving dinner this year for Easter dinner. So, uh, anyways, let's keep looking here. Festival Jam stage, that's got 1,000. Um, Lumberjack Heroes, 8,800. Uh, let's see. Color Switch 2000, Brick Death Run 1000, Blocks Backroom 1000, Block Speed Tycoon 1000, Lego Prop Hunt 1000, uh, and there's a whole lot more to be discovered in that Discover tab. For quests, I, I believe we went over and covered everything in the weekly. So just, you know, reminder to keep doing all those. Do your dailies, do your Rise of Midas stuff. You know, do your floors lava stuff to get all those rewards. I haven't even started on those because I've been just focusing on other stuff. And I've been playing, like I said, been playing ranked more this season. So, uh, you know, I haven't really been focusing on uh, 
that stuff but i need to get on it just so i can get those rewards uh but yeah uh just a reminder to stay on top of all that stuff let's head on over to the item shop and see what's in the item shop today all right uh today let's see we have the lego stuff the cars lady gaga the jam tracks of course uh the gear for festival the lantern fest items uh so here we got the dark bomber bundle today that's got the dark bomber outfit and dark bag back bling for 1200 thunder crash pickaxe for 1200 dark glyph glider for 500 or you get it all in the bundle for a total of 2000 which is 900 off the total we got to the beat emote for 500 that's still here the bash outfit for 1500 wukong outfit for 2000 red knight outfit for 2000 switch step emote for 500 take 14 emote for 200 that stuff has been in here for a while uh let's see if we got the mogul master outfit for 1500 ski boot pickaxe for 800 the mika outfit for 1200 starly outfit for 1200 party diva outfit for 1500 and we got our new outfit this is the aubrey character um we need to look at details on what it says about this get ready for the boom that's the details that they put about this and there's glasses on or glasses off on this style but let me describe to you if you're just listening to the podcast what this character looks like okay like I, I love her outfit. It's very cute. We'll go from the bottom. She's just got on like regular tennis shoes. They're like blue and purple with pink shoelaces. She's got on like some normal looking pants. There's like purple pants. She's got on like this yellow collar, long sleeve shirt. Looks very normal. And then she's got on this helmet right that's got like the cat ears thing it's a red helmet with like black cat ears and then the thing that you gotta know so it's either glasses on or glasses off and they're just glasses you know with uh kind of yellowish tint uh lenses but the thing with this is this shirt she's wearing over the yellow collar shirt is a hot dog but it's a bomb. So it, it is a stick of dynamite inside of a hot dog bun. It's got mustard spread across it. And uh, the fuse is lit. So <laughs> very funny, very unique. I like this shirt. I like the look. Uh, you know, it's, it, it just looks like kind of like a, a normal person but just wearing like a silly shirt so i'm a big fan of it i like it it does come with a uh, lego style of course and uh the pop dog back bling which again is a stick of dynamite with the fuse lit inside of a hot dog bun mustard spread across it so it looks like a hot dog but it's actually a, a dynamite and that's the back bling the pop dog back bling uh this is 1200 this I, I like that one a lot we have the brat outfit you know the actual hot dog mascot in here today that's uh you know it comes with that loose links contrail for 1200 the duffel dog back bling for 300 the knock worst pickaxe for 800 uh the original spotlight and the lego stuff um oh okay the fish stick bundle is in here fish stick outfit for 1200 coral cruiser glider for 800 bootstraps pickaxe for 500 fishy flourish emote for 400 slippery wrap for 300 all uh, you know everything in the bundle is together for 2200 which is 1800 off the total comes with all the wraps and the meet me in the sticks lobby music as well uh the diamond hands outfit is 1200 Tex Flamingo outfit for 1200 Sergeant Drake outfit for 1200 Budge outfit for 1200 Cosmic Pick Axe for 800 uh, The Hop Into Spring items, or Spring Into Action items are still here. Marvel is still here. Nike still here, and the Mellowverse items still here. 
Uh, that looks like everything today. You can get any and all of these items using code Mikey, M-M-M-I-K-I-E, in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. And I, I have to go with Aubrey. Aubrey is the obvious item of the day today. Just looks awesome to me. I just love the outfit. I love the back bling. Uh, and again, it's not really that there's anything special that special about the outfit she's just wearing normal pants a normal looking t-shirt but i just like the t-shirt i like the dynamite hot dog it's funny she seems like she's funny and ironic so cool character there you go there's your item of the day uh and that's gonna be the episode so make sure you go join the daily fortnite discord and hang out with us follow me over on twitch twitter and youtube head over to apple Podcasts, leave a five star rating and a written review like super cool and i love pyro did that says how 2000 episodes are crazy yeah well this is daily fortnite so we've been doing this daily uh you know we miss a few days here and there or you know or i've missed a couple weeks at a time uh depending on you know different vacations i've taken or different life events that have had me miss episodes uh but yeah i mean we've been doing it since almost the very beginning of Fortnite. i wasn't doing the podcast like the first two seasons i think uh, i didn't start the podcast until the third season of Fortnite, but uh it, that really had only been uh a couple of months uh, from when uh, Fortnite came out. So we've been doing this for, I don't know. What is that now? Six years, seven years, somewhere in that range. And uh, yeah, it, it has, like I said, come out really almost every day that entire time. Like there's been some vacations, some other uh, life events that have caused me to not record. Um, you know, in the early days when epic and fortnite used to put out like actual updates uh blog posts not just they actually used to give the the patch notes they would like you know they would post the patch notes you could actually read everything off and we would sit here and go through it those episodes you know most of these episodes that you listen to uh nowadays they're you know 10 minutes or less and that's what the the bulk of the episodes were even in the beginning but whenever there was a patch an update we would read those patch notes because they would literally give you the every weapon that was in the patch they'd give you the fire rate it was all easy there and easy to read and print out not like now where they don't put any of that stuff out so if you want to go look at it you have to it would take a lot of work for me to do that. I'd have to like go in the game, find those weapons, find all the different rarities, uh, and write it all down. They, they they used to just put that out for you. So I would read those um, uh, updates. And so normally on those days, we'd do two episodes because we would, uh, in the morning, I'd read the patch notes to see like what was going to happen in the update that day. And then uh, when I would get home from work, I would record another episode, uh, and then uh, we would go over, okay, like what the update actually felt like, and that's what it was early in the day. So, so I mean, back then, we used to even do two episodes a day, depending on uh, how much information they gave us and uh, how big uh, of news there was coming out back then. And you, us, you have to also remember, um, the updates came even more frequently than we do now. We usually get like an we get an update, right? And then the next week we get a hot fix. And then another week later, we get another like full update. Back when Fortnite first came out, you know, and they were saying, hey, this game is in beta. So they were putting out patches and putting out updates. Like it seemed like it, oh, every other day, <laughs> like a new patch was coming out, a new update was coming out. And I know there was other like gaming companies complaining because, uh, Technically, you're only supposed to have, you know, like, like PlayStation had some sort of, I don't know, like rule that you're only supposed to put out updates like so often for a game. Like you can only put out so many updates, right? Uh, but Fortnite was getting away with it uh, because their game was like, you know, said that they were still in beta. So it wasn't like a 
full-fledged game or whatever so that's how they were kind of getting around that uh rule that playstation used to have that you know uh a game that was released could only push so many updates uh you know i i imagine that's something that they change because when the game that makes the most uh money is on your platform and is putting out updates so they're going to say okay i guess we can get rid of that rule it doesn't make sense uh for this day and age uh but yeah that, i mean that's what it was in the early days that's how often we were recording uh that's how often we have recorded over this amount of time it's so easy for me uh to get on just do a quick update every day like you like i said most of these are 10 minutes or less and i just love getting on and talking about you know whatever's in the item shop that day, if any news came out that day, you know, any sort of update or um, blog post or, you know, whatever that we, we have to talk about, uh, you know, quests, challenges, whatever. Uh, and, and I have fun uh, doing that for the community and, and uh, talking to the community and hanging out with the community that listens to this show and doing all that stuff with them. So that's how we've gotten that far, and I don't expect to be stopping anytime soon. We're 2,000 now. I expect to be doing another 2,000, um, and then another 2,000 after that, and hope this thing just keeps going. I, I hope Fortnite is around uh, forever. All right. <laughs> so there we go. That, I, that, was, that was the only update or review and five star rating we had this week, and, uh, you know, it inspired me to talk a, a while. <laughs> but that, uh that's i guess that's just how i i, I feel uh, about this podcast and this community and this game uh, absolutely love all of it so uh thanks for that five star rating and review uh and uh yeah that's the episode so until next time have fun be safe and don't get lost in the storm <laughs>